Welcome back to Knights TV, Spencer Burke alongside Paige Martin. And Paige, last week we highlighted how pivotal of a weekend this past one was for London, and they did not disappoint, picking up three huge wins. Yeah, absolutely. The Knights came away with all six points this past weekend, starting here on Friday night at Budweiser Gardens against the Erie Otters, where they won 4-1. to Yeah, and we saw some young players really step up in this game, Paige. Liam Foodie, three points. Nathan Dunkley, three points. And Billy Moskal, a goal assist and a fight recording the good old-fashioned Gordie Howe hat trick. And playing alongside guys like uh, Foodie and uh, Dunkley on the same line, what's it like to be playing alongside them? Uh, it's you know fun to play with guys your own age and guys I've known for a while, so it's, uh, it's a good line we have going and hoping to keep the momentum going. Now you notched that second goal um, right in the first period. Did you just find that that kind of really helped build the team's momentum going into the rest of the game? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, ho hopefully all the boys were building off that. I think they were. So. Uh, you know, we just, that was a good team win for us. Everyone, everyone was uh, like, everyone was feeling it that game. So, yeah, it was just a nice p a play by Foods to uh, throw it, throw it up to the point to goal, and then uh, I just got lucky, got a stick on it. Well, over the last few games, Spencer, we've really been able to see the line of Nathan Dunkley, Liam Foodie, and Billy Moskal really come together and click, and that's exactly what we saw on Friday night when that line had all three of the night's goals. Yeah, and it's an interesting dynamic page because all three of these players are natural centermen, but they've been able to adapt, and clearly this line is starting to heat up. Friday night's win also gave Joseph Raymakers his 21st victory of the season as he recorded 29 saves in the game and also kick-started the Knights' three-game winning streak. Yeah, Paige, the Knights took care of business on Saturday as well at home, picking up a 5-3 win over the Sudbury Wolves in a game where we continued to see production throughout the entire lineup. Yeah, the Knights really spread out the scoring on Saturday night. They had five different goal scorers, including Billy Moskal, Nathan Dunsley, and Liam Foody, who all had goals the night before, and then Dalton Duhart and Josh Nelson added one as well. Yeah, and Josh Nelson was the one that recorded the game winner late in the third there, Paige. We spoke with him after the contest. Josh, congratulations on the win and the game-winning goal. Can you take us through that play? Yeah, it was kind of a broken play. Um, went up to Mike's, he hooked off, made a great play, found me in the slot, and I shot it. Honestly, didn't look where, but shot it and went in, so it's great. And uh, how important was it for you guys to take care of business the last two games at home? Oh, it was real important. After uh, last weekend, you know, bounces didn't go our way. We were playing our best hockey, but, uh, you know, this weekend coming into it, good week of practice, and, you know, finish it tomorrow. And on Saturday night, Evan Bouchard was the game's first star as he reported two assists, and Jordan Foy came in as a steady relief for Joseph Raymakers as he helped his team collect a solid two points. Yeah, Joseph Raymakers, he was back in between the net on Sunday against Guelph Page, where London picked up their third win in three days, and Raymakers was rock solid in this one, stopping. 33 of 35 shots that came his way. Yes, Sunday was an exciting overtime win for the Knights. We mentioned earlier that Liam Foodie has really been stepping up and showing his leadership, and that's exactly what we saw in overtime as he played the overtime hero with that goal. Yeah, Paige, that was actually Foodie's second goal of the game, his fifth goal over the three games on the weekend, and his ninth goal in his last nine contests. So it's safe to say the forward is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Yes, Spencer, there's plenty to talk about with Liam Foodie. And Knights fans, if you want to learn more about this rising star, make sure you head to www.lundonknights.com. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to watch this young Knights team come together over the last couple of weeks, Paige. And those two points were huge that they picked up over Guelph on Sunday as they enter this week three points ahead of the storm in the Western Conference stand. And the Knights look to further that gap as they face off against the Owen Sound attack on Wednesday night. The Knights' three-game win streak was snapped Wednesday when they were defeated 4-2 by the Owen Sound attack. Londoner Nick Suzuki led the way for the attack as he notched two goals against his hometown team. Alec Regula and Liam Foodie were the goal scorers for the Knights. It was Foodie's sixth goal in his last four games. The attack now only trailed the Knights by three points in the Western Conference standings. Coming up next, the London Knights will host the Kitchener Rangers here at the Budweiser Gardens on Friday night. Kitchener has already locked up a playoff spot as they currently sit second in the Western Conference. And on Saturday, the Knights will travel to Erie to face off against the Otters. And then on Monday, they'll be back here at Budweiser Gardens for a family day game where they'll host the Windsor Spitfires. For Knights TV, I'm Paige Martin. And I'm Spencer Burke.